Hey YouTube, today I want to do a quick unboxing of the new Nintendo Switch Lite in the coral colorway. Uh, I was able to pre-order this on, um, I believe, a couple of days before the release date, which was April 3rd. Uh, so, as it was getting close, the pre-order actually sold out, if you guys can believe that. So, luckily I got it through uh, GameStop because Target, Best Buy, and Walmart completely sold out of the pre-order. So unless um, you wait until the release date to get it, try to get it again or try to get it in person. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually get it on the release date. It actually came, got delivered today. Uh, so also inside, it comes with a manual and the AC adapter. I'm surprised they're using such a long bag for this, this AC adapter. This is the USB-C. AC adapter. I think this is the same one that comes with the original Nintendo Switch, uh, the one that you plug into the dock. I'm surprised they didn't give you like a USB wall adapter and a, just like a USB cord. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this is the console right here. So a lot of people are actually curious of what this color actually looks like in person. Um, to me, it looks a lot brighter than the one in the picture that they were showing online. It looks kind of like a salmon color in a way. I'm just going to turn it on real quick so you guys can see it. Um, button layouts is still the same. Uh, this is kind of like a light gray button. Light gray color. I know the original Tell Switch, the buttons are black with like white font so you guys can see. And the screen of the Nintendo Switch Lite is only five and a half inches, so it's like 0.7 inches smaller than the original one, which is like 6.2, but you can barely see the difference. Um, on top right here, uh, you guys can see the power button, volume button, headset jack, and then the uh, game slot. And then on the bottom, um, same USB-C slot and then the micro SD card right here. Uh, so yeah, I mean all the buttons are still the same. Oh, I noticed in the back, here's a look in the back so you guys can see the color for yourself. Um, it doesn't have that little uh, pop-out stand so you can like, uh, you know, so you can have it standing in the play because the two Joy-Cons don't disconnect so there's no point in that so actually they removed it you guys can see it right here and I'm actually going to show you guys a quick comparison between this one and the uh, original one I'm going to show you guys my original channel switch right here I'm going to put it kind of like above one another so you guys can see the difference so you guys can see right there there is a little bit of a size difference but not too much. So I guess the screen is what you guys can see. Honestly, the weight, this one seems, is lighter. Um, you guys know when, with the original one, when you guys hold it and you guys play, um, sometimes it's a little bit, it feels like it's not very stable because it's kind of, because the screen is very long, so all the weight's like right in the center, and then the Joy Cons are kind of light. So I think with this one, the new Switch Lite, uh, the whole console itself is like pretty, pr pretty balanced. You, you f it feels pretty uh, stable when you guys hold it like this. This one I always felt like it was a little bit too heavy. Um, so yeah. Again, quick look of the console. Retail for $1.99. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available. I haven't checked to see if uh, it's available or it's sold out or not, but I did notice that the pre-order did sell out. So I don't know if you guys were all able to pre-order it. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe below. Peace.